So the other day, myself and my co-stars on the Ensign's Log podcast, Jason Harding and Dana Cole, got together here on my channel, and we had our annual end-of-season Ensign's Log live stream, and it was a ton of fun, as I knew it would be. And someone in the live chat said something really quite nice to me, I think. They said, I used to think I knew a lot about Star Trek until I saw Steve. And I took that as a compliment because I think that's how they meant it. But I also kind of thought, do I really know that much about Star Trek? Because I'm 42 this year. I've been watching Star Trek my whole life. I've seen all of it there is to see. I grew up watching a lot of it. And I do know a lot about it. I have a pretty good memory for Star Trek kind of stuff. But I never really thought of myself as a Star Trek expert or someone who knows an unusual amount about Star Trek. Certainly among Star Trek fans, I wouldn't consider myself someone who knows an unusually large amount of, of stuff about Star Trek. So I thought I would once again test my mastery of Star Trek knowledge, such as it is, if knowledge is the appropriate word to use in this context, by taking another Star Trek trivia quiz. I made a video of myself taking a trivia quiz a couple years ago, and it seemed to go over pretty well, and I'm going to do that again. But this time, instead of taking one of those more recently produced online trivia quizzes, I thought it would be fun to play an old-school Star Trek trivia game. And it pains me to say that the game I'm going to play is a vintage Star Trek trivia game, meaning it first came out in the year 1990. That's vintage. Oh, oh, that hurts my heart to say it. But anyway, so I'm going to be playing a game called, rather straightforwardly, Star Trek The Next Generation Trivia that was released by Micro FX Software in 1990, which means it only covers about the first three years of Star Trek TNG. I've never played this game before. Apparently, it is 100 questions, so I'm going to go through and see how many of these I get right. Let's test my knowledge of early Star Trek TNG trivia, shall we? Okay. Press any key to play. Start game. Okay, shareware, blah, blah, blah. Remember shareware? Wasn't shareware fun? Anyway, okay. Data's eyes are blue, true or false? That would be false. They are amber yellow, yes. Or they are amber yellow or some other weird color. Interesting. Uh, is the Barzan wormhole stable in the price? No, it is not. Who says I did not win? I busted him up. Well, that is Data. Doing pretty good so far. Which episode does Joe Piscopo appear in as a comic? That would be the outrageous Okona. In Heart of Glory, how many Klingons are beamed aboard the Enterprise from the Talarian freighter? That would be three. In Elementary, Dear Data, Data plays the part of who in An Adventure on the Holodeck? That would be Sherlock Holmes. In Measure of a Man, Data is bluffed out of a poker hand by... Uh, Commander Riker. In the battle, we learn that Picard's old ship was named the Stargazer. What is Wesley Crusher's rank? Acting ensign. In which episode does Gregory Quinn say, I have reason to believe there may be something very wrong on this ship? Conspiracy. Oh, that's incorrect. Which, which, which one was it? Oh, they don't tell you the right answer. It wasn't conspiracy. It was the one before that, the one they introduced Quinn. I can't remember which one that was. I got one wrong. What is the name of Riker's father? Kyle. Wesley creates a new form of nanite, a mechanical being in during it. Oh, we just did this one on, on the Ensign's Log. Evolution. Which episode features a swirling energy vortex that destroys the Enterprise? Uh, Times squared? Yes. Goddamn right. In which episode is Geordi LaForce trapped in a pit with a Romulan on the planet of Galorndon Core? Actually, it says the plant of Galorndon Core, but I know what they're getting at. The enemy. Where does Guinan work? That would be 10 forward. Apparently all the time, no matter where she is. Whether it's on Earth or the Enterprise-D, she always has a bar, and it's always called 10 forward. Who knew? Which actor plays Q in the series? John Delancey, of course. A lot of questions that are relevant to the ongoing <laughs> and baffling second season of Star Trek Picard as I shoot this. In Coming of Age, Wesley met Mordok during his exam for Starfleet Academy. What race was Mordok? He was Benzite. 
potassium benzite, I, I believe. He's not, he's not good for you. In which episode does Deanna Troy become pregnant? That would be the child. Although, Contagion would also be a, an appropriate title for that episode, I do believe. Which episode contains Hold Where You Are, Clag? I have relieved Cargon. I am now your captain. Um, Heart of Glory. No. A Matter of Honor. It's the other Klingon one. A Matter of Honor. The one with the, the swap. The, the, the officer swap. It's a Matter of Honor. Damn. What is Dr. Pulaski's first name? Kate. Any Ben Folds 5 fans out there? Every day she wears the same thing. I think she smokes pot. Probably not Dr. Pulaski. Although maybe. What is the name of the detective character Cat McCart plays on the holodeck? Dixon Hill. Thank you very much. When who watches The Watchers, why does Dr. Crusher beam Lico back to the Enterprise? Because he fell and hit his widow head. William Riker is offered his first command aboard the blank in the Icarus Factor. The Ares. Yeah. How many episodes were in the first season? What? Um, that's, this is a stab in the dark. I'm going to say 26. And that's correct. I knew. I was just, you know, I was just playing. Wanted to create some suspense, you know? Even though I blew the perfect game a while back. Kalar, a female half-human, half-Klingon, appears in blank and new wharf in the past. The Emissary, named for her character's role in the episode, of course. Which episode are several children kidnapped from the Enterprise? When the Bow Breaks. Guest starring uh, Deep Throat from, uh, <laughs> from the X-Files. Who would, uh, Jerry Harden, who would go on to play uh, Mark Twain in the Times Arrow two-parter in seasons five and six. Which episode contains you felt no satisfaction, you wanted her to suffer, you have a great need? Skin of Evil, you're goddamn right. Also relevant to the Ensign's Log. That Armis guy, he, sound, he sounds familiar. Uh, which episode contains Q has made the Borg aware of the Federation years before it would have occurred? Oh, of course, that, that memorable Star Trek quote is from Q Who. That immortal line from TNG. In which episode does Worf partake in the Klingon death ritual with two other Klingons? Now, that is Heart of Glory. Not a matter of honor. The Klingon episodes, you know. Uh, who plays Deanna Troy's mother? Ha 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 Gene Roddenberry's wife. Sorry, that's not her name. That's her resume. Which episode does Wesley help the chief engineer rebuild the ship's tractor beam into a repulsor beam? The Naked Now. Which episode contains we don't just provide weapons, we provide complete weapon systems? The Arsenal of Freedom. Said by the great Vincent Schiavelli. Which episode contains the characters Captain Walker Keel, Captain Ricks, Captain Trila, Scott, Conspiracy? That's where they all meet on that desolate asteroid type of place to talk in secret because they think that there is a conspiracy at Starfleet. The planet of Blank is rumored to have a planetary cloaking device to protect its technology from marauders. Um, Iconia? Nope, that's not it. I bet it was Aldea. I have no idea, though. I really, I don't really remember. In the Arsenal of Freedom, a newer, better war machine appears every so many minutes to attack the away team. Oh, that's going to be a guess. 15? Nope, not 15. Maybe 20. If it's not 15, it's 20. On a bit of a slide now. Ship's crew. Who created data? Dr. Noonie and Stark. That's a good joke, especially in the pre-MCU days. Someone was reading their comics. It is, of course, Dr. Noonie and Stark. In the Ensigns of Command, which alien race demands that a colony on Tau Sina be removed? So, so I think it's supposed to be Tau Signa. There's a misspelling there. So they can take the planet. The Sheliak. In The Survivors, Riker gets caught in which type of trap? A snare. That starred uh, John Anderson as Kevin, who also played MacGyver's grandfather Harry in MacGyver. Hey, bud. I killed all the hooshnock, bud. Picard decides to initiate the auto-destruct system in where silence has least to save the ship. That is true. Does Riker William T. concur? Yes, I do indeed concur wholeheartedly. Simple yes would have sufficed, number one. In which episode does Riker beam down on an away team and find a Las Vegas-style hotel and casino? One of my favorite episodes from the first couple seasons, The Royale. In Measure of a Man, Riker blanks in order to show that Data is simply a machine and not human. Why, he switches him off. In The Price, what are the Federation and the other delegates bargaining for? A wormhole. In Contagion, the technologically advanced planet of whatever is discovered. Now that is Iconia. 
In which episode does Data have a beard? Um, hmm, good question. Schizoid Man. Yes, it was right. That was I. I, knew, I, I was like, was it Measure of a Man? I don't think it was Measure of a Man that had the beard scene. And I don't think it was Pen Pals, and Data Lore was season one, and I know it was season two when he had the beard, so it was the Schizoid Man. In the Naked Now, who carries the disease back to the Enterprise from the away team? Poor Geordi LaForge is the one who does that. He didn't mean nothing. He didn't even know he had it. It's not Geordi's fault. He touched some dead guy in a shower and got everybody sick. Could have happened to anybody. What is the name of the arrogant propulsion expert in Where None Have Gone Before? That's Kaczynski. It's actually where no one has gone before, but close enough. What is the name of Waxana Troy's manservant in Haven? Hint, she is Deanna Troy's mother. That's not a hint for this question. Anyway, it's Mr. Holm, of course. You will not do that to my lady. In which episode does Jordy LaForge use the holodeck to create Dr. Leah Brahms, a propulsion specialist, booby trap, in more ways than one? In which episode is Picard seen as a god by Liko, a proto-Vulcan on the planet of Mentaka 3? Who watches the Watchers? I do, because it's a fine episode. In Unnatural Selection, blank ages rapidly due to a disease from Gagarin 4. It's actually Gagarin 4, and it is Dr. Pulaski. Which episode features a mentally underdeveloped race of beings called the Pakled, Samaritan Snare? They look for things. Things that make them go. They do indeed. They do indeed. Which episode is Lieutenant Yar kidnapped from the Enterprise and forced into a fight to the death? It's the worst episode ever. Code of Honor. What was the name of Data's twin that is found in the Federation colony in Data Lore? The clue's right there in the title. <laughs> it's Lore. In Symbiosis, the entire population of Ornara is addicted to Felicium. In the Dauphin, Blank falls in love with Celia. That would be Wesley. Who, play <laughs> Who plays Jean-Luc Picard in the series? Oh boy, this is a toughie. I almost said Brent Spiner, but I'm glad I went with Patrick Stewart. In which episode was the Enterprise meeting with the SS Tsiolkovsky, which was watching the collapse of a star? That's uh, the Naked Now. The Tsiolkovsky is where they got the... The, the the water sickness from. What is the first name of Deanna Troy's mother? That would be Loxana. How could I ever forget? In peak performance, Data beat Kolrami the first time the two played Stratagema. No, that is false. He most certainly did not. Mr. Data, it is possible to make no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. Now get back to work. In peak performance, who does Riker select as his number one for the battle simulation? Uh, Worf. In the Schizoid Man, Dr. Ira Graves transfers his mind into the body of Data. Ira Graves. Ira Graves. In which episode does the Enterprise go to a planet to search for survivors of the freighter Odin? Ooh. Uh... Angel One. And it's correct. I almost ran out of time. But I got the goddamn thing, didn't I? Which episode contains more urgent matters have caused our absence? We have been negligent, but no more. We are back. That's the neutral zone. The Romulans are back. Data risked breaking the Prime Directive by contacting a small child named Sarjenka in Pen Pals. I have handed over control of this vessel to acting Captain Wesley Crusher. Is in, uh, the Naked Now. In Conspiracy, Riker is taken over by the alien parasites, but is saved by Picard. That is false. He's just pretending. Which episode features characters named Reginod and Grebnedlog? Those would be the Pakleds in Samaritan Snare. In Q Who, newly arrived ensign Sonia Gomez spills a cup of hot chocolate on Captain Picard. Worf faints on the bridge of the Enterprise in Up the Long Ladder. I'm going to say false on that. Apparently it's true. I don't remember Worf fainting on the bridge, but apparently he did. Wesley Crusher gets his first command of a planetary mineral survey in Pen Pals. That is true. Which is the first episode Dr. Pulaski appears as Dr. Crusher's replacement? Season 2 premiere, The Child. Which is the only episode that had two one-hour parts? Well, this is early TNG, so at the time, the answer is Encounter at Farpoint, but there have since been... Several other episodes that have been two-parters. And, you know, now also the series is over. 
How did the Enterprise crewman Lieutenant Maria Astor die in the bonding? Um, a phaser beam from hostile forces. Incorrect. An explosion then. I think it was an explosion. I say, after I got it wrong. What is Data's rank? He is a lieutenant commander. Why does the Enterprise go to Ligon 2 in Code of Honor for a rare vaccine? In which episode does Data say a joke is an antic, a caper, mischief, prank, quip, witticism? That would be the outrageous Okona. In which episode do we see a character from the original TV series? That would be Encounter at Farpoint. We see Dr. McCoy. In the Schizoid Man, Dr. Ira Graves has which disease? Um, boy. Darnay's disease or Doppler's disease? I'm going to say Darnay's disease. Ah, it's correct. It was just a guess, though. In the neutral zone, approximately how long has it been since contact with the Romulans? Um, 50 years? Correct. Again, just a guess, so, you know, don't get too excited about that one. Not that you were going to. What type of aliens can be found on the planet of Pacifica? I'm gonna say fish-like. That just makes sense. I doubt they would be cat-like on the planet Pacifica. Something tells me. Question 99. Which episode is Tashiar killed by an evil alien named Armas? <laughs> Somebody should have proofread their trivia game before they published it. Skin of Evil, of course. And I believe this is the last question, number 100. What type of brain does Data have? Positronic. I made it through all the questions. My score was 17,400. I have no idea how good that is or not, but I got uh, 91 out of 100 uh, right. So, I don't know. That's not terrible, right? It's pretty good. It's not like perfect, but it's 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 a pretty high batting average. Nine out of ten, let's just say. So I think I'm I, I, I still don't think I would rank myself as like a top tier Star Trek trivia master, but I'll tell you what, I know a goddamn hell of a lot about it. So don't fuck with me. Unless you know more about it than me. In which case, you know, go ahead and fuck with me. And you very well may. Because I'm sure there's some of you that could have gotten a clean 100 on this. So, you know, there you go. Of course, if you watch this video, I can't tell you to go try it now. Because it's cheating. Like, you know 91 of the correct answers. You or I, Well, you probably don't know 91 of the correct answers. Because I doubt very much I'm going to just show this entire thing uncut in the video. Wouldn't that be crazy? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to edit it. But trust me. So, even though it's edited and you're not seeing every single answer to every single question, trust me. The final result that I showed you is the true result that I got. We're just going to have to go on the honor system here. 91 questions out of 100. If I was going to make something up, why wouldn't I make it like 100 out of 100? Or 99 or 98 out of 100? The perfect lie would be 98 out of 100 because it shows that I have pretty much near total mastery of the subject, at least as far as this game goes. But I still got a couple wrong to make it look good so that I'm not perfect, right? I'm still human. I wouldn't fake 91 out of 100. That's... No, that's legit. You can trust me on that. That's legit. Bye.